I just got the dining room table cleaned off from the last garden segment and I placed all of those house plants in sunny corners around the house and oops, I did it again. I'm hoping that post Valentine's Day you either received or treated yourself to a blooming indoor plant. This is the perfect thing to add some much needed color to your winter house especially between snowstorms. Just like your outdoor blooming plants, indoor blooming plants require more light. An east window would be perfect, but a bright space is what you're after. However, don't allow the intense sun from a south or west window shine directly on these plants. You will fry your plants. These plants need to be watered deeply, and what that means is you're gonna water until you see the excess drain out the bottom into the drip saucer below. If you're like me and you're attracted to pots without a drainage hole, all that excess water is gonna pool at the bottom and that will cause root rot. So dump this water out. Make sure that you deadhead or pinch off any dry or spent blooms and this will make sure that the plant continues to put more energy into producing more blooms. We are not the only ones attracted to the beautiful blooms of indoor blooming houseplants. So are insects like aphids, mealybugs, and spider mites. I'm out here in my greenhouse to show you how to fight those bad bugs. Unfortunately, aphids and whiteflies are my worst offenders here in the greenhouse. It happens every year and I just know I'm gonna have to deal with it. But neem oil is an excellent, excellent product to help fight these little boogers and you'll use this once a week, a light spray, until you don't see these bad bugs anymore. Dr. Bronner's soap is always a staple in my arsenal of anything that I use to fight insects, but this is the only thing that I use on my herbs and vegetables. I don't want to ingest any chemicals, so this is 100% organic, super easy to use. You just mix a tablespoon in a spray bottle. Don't shake it, but just gently agitate it. I've actually added a little bit of cinnamon in this because it helps prevent future infestations. And just like the neem oil, you spray it once a week until you don't see any more bad bugs. Bottom line, overwatering is what is causing the fungus gnats. So you can use the neem oil or you can also use mosquito bits. As you can see, these are just little tiny bits. You don't need a lot of these and you'll just sprinkle them onto the soil. As you water, these bits will be absorbed into the soil and it will kill all the larvae of the fungus gnats. Please go to 9news.com where I have posted a lot more information on this segment to help you bring in the beauty of blooming plants and fight all these darn insects.